Welcome, Libra and Cross Watchers. This is your general love reading. Libra, you had someone possibly doing sex magic on you. Um, if it wasn't you, it was your person. But whoever had it done to them, they really want to be with their, their true person, but they're afraid that that person won't forgive them. So stick around. Let's see where this goes. Libra, let's get into your energy, then we'll get into the energy of all 12 signs, then we'll get into your reading, and then I'll get you some oracle cards for clarification. So with that, Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Libra. Let's see energy for Libra, please. Ooh. Okay, so you're trying to either find some balance or be patient about a Queen of Wands. So... This is either you dealing with somebody who's an Aries, Leo, or Sag, or somebody who's interfering, and you're trying to be patient, or this is you coming in hot, being patient, holding back, you know, your passion. So let's see what's up. Holy Spirit, angel, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance. Give me the energy of all 12 signs around Libra, starting with Aries, please. You're dealing with an Aries. Somebody's trying to get clear. I feel like they see something clearly. So the light's been shed on, I feel like, a missed opportunity here. If you're dealing with a Taurus, someone's trying to reconcile some burdens. If you're dealing with a Gemini, someone sees something from a different perspective so they can move forward. If you're dealing with a Cancer, somebody's, I feel like somebody's walking away is a victory. Them walking away is a victory to them. If you're dealing with a Leo, I feel like there's a lot of strife, jealousy, and competition around Leo. If you're dealing with a Virgo, someone's working on a new passionate beginning. If you're dealing with another Libra, someone's waiting out in the cold. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, someone's very up in their head, sleepless nights over an Empress. If you're dealing with a Sagittarius, someone's being strategic or at a crossroads about a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. So they may be at a crossroads about you if you're dealing with a Sagittarius. If you're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody is having a choice between two and it's causing a tower moment. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, someone's speaking a truth about looking at the past mistakes, wanting to speak the truth. And if you're dealing with a Pisces. Pisces wants, Pisces wants to heal a relationship. So I feel like you're being patient about a queen of wands here. So I feel like this queen of wands is somebody that may be interfering here. You're trying to be patient, find some balance. I feel like if you don't find some balance, heads are going to roll. So uh, with that Queen of Swords, you're not going to, you know, you're not going to take anybody's lip. So Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance. Why is Libra being patient where the Queen of Wands is concerned? Okay. I feel like this person may have been doing some deceptive magic. Okay, so there was a choice between two and there was deceptive magic. That's why you're being patient. This person's doing magic. King of Wands energy. Trying to heal. But there's stuff that's hidden, secrets and illusion. Very guarded and defensive. There you are. You're guarded and defensive, Libra. You're up in your head about this, and you're holding on or holding back until you understand things a little bit better But uh, because you're heartbroken. But you will figure out your opponent's weakness, and you'll tear it up, okay? So just know that. I feel like you're not coming in as the Queen of Swords. You're coming in as the King of Swords, and the King of Swords knows how to defeat their opponent, okay? So if somebody's doing magic that's in deception, 
you're going to hand them their butt with both hands. Somebody wants to reconcile and offer their love because you are their wish fulfillment. And there will be a victory here because you see clearly what you need to do. And you're making that decision under the bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles, for something long-term and committed. Holy Spirit, angel, spirits, and guides, clarity and guidance for Libra. What does Libra need to know? Why is the lovers here? There's a choice here. There's a choice here. And so I feel like somebody is just playing games with that magician and the and the deceptive what deception and magic. So so you're waiting for a soulmate. I feel like a third party. The third party is the one that's doing some magic. There's deception. Under the bottom of the deck. <laughs> I have to show you this because under the bottom of the deck, deception again, okay? So why is deception here? Because it had to do with sex. So someone could have been doing sex magic. So just keep that in mind. Someone may have been doing sex magic on the emperor. Because the emperor is going from a king of wands to emperor. Okay. Someone may have been doing sex magic on the emperor. And now this person wants to heal a relationship. But what was hidden in the illusion could have been with a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio that was doing sex magic on the emperor. Feeling guarded and defensive because someone was trying to win at all costs. King of swords. King of swords. You're going to communicate. I feel like you know. You're the emperor here. I feel like you know what you're doing. And I feel like there is going to be passionate communication. It could passionate communication could be a fight, okay? It could be an argument. You feel very stuck up in your heads about this burden, okay? And you're trying to. I feel like, I feel like you're holding on to stand your ground. You're holding on or holding back from standing your ground. I, I feel like you're holding on to stand your ground because you see something from a different perspective. You want to reconcile. You definitely want to reconcile with somebody else. Heartbroken. You want to rush towards this person. And and, and I, I feel like speak a truth. Speak your truth. Tell the truth. But you're at a crossroads. Reconciling. Wanting to be with somebody. That's your wish fulfillment. Transforming your happiness. You're trying to figure out how to work on this. There's a victory because you see clearly what you need to do and you're making that decision. But there's strife, jealousy, and competition. I feel like this is an ex. They're wanting to apologize and having some regrets. They're telling you they're sorry. Um, but I don't feel like you care because you're, you're turning your back to them. Because they're the devil. <laughs> Causing some anxiety because of their deception. Yeah. You're looking back at the past mistakes needing strength because you're unhappy about this. Now, this is the energy that they gave you. I mean, I feel like they did sex magic on you. And in this one, you're coming in as the Queen of Swords. They're apologizing and having some regrets, but you're turning your back on them. Your back is not looking anywhere towards them. You're going the opposite direction. You're like, nah, not today. Okay? And I feel like you're looking back at the past mistakes needing strength because you're unhappy. But this was their energy because it was toxic and it's you're you're still feeling very up in your head, sleepless nights about the deception because, you know, they did sex magic on you. That's what the, it was. It was. I feel like. Yeah. These days, people aren't playing with, you know, they're not fighting fair. They're not fighting fair. They're doing stupid stuff. And just think, your your intentions, what you put out there, is what the what the universe is going to give you back. And people are in such a low vibrational state these days. It's just, you know, everybody needs to come back together and raise their vibration. Start treating people equally, and just be kind. I mean, if you don't have anything good to say, shut the mouth. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't have to be ugly anymore. People just allow that. Peace.
financial health, closure, beauty. You see the beauty in something, beauty and forgiveness. So I feel like this person's going to forgive you that and, and take you back, um, Libra. I feel like you're the emperor here, and maybe the sex magic was done on you, but whoever this is you want to be with, they're going to forgive you and take you back, and there's going to be a healing. Holy Spirit, angel, spirits, and guides, clarity, and guidance for Libra. You're turning your back on somebody, and you're not even wasting any more time on them. Uh, because you know what you you've been thinking about something you received from a long time ago and you you're being patient you're being patient they're saying they're saying no you're not being patient okay I feel like you've received something, maybe a download. You're thinking about something from the past, needing needing to be patient, but you're not. You're not patient. There's no patience, okay? You may have been doing this since the winter, so you're not patient. You want to be with somebody, the inner child. You have an inner knowing here, uh, but you're afraid they won't forgive you. You're afraid they won't forgive you. Um, but I feel like they will. So, um Libra, that's all I have for you. If this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful week.